uh, kind of interesting. Um, obviously, pitch count, back-to-back -back outings, higher than I would like. Um, but, I mean, in that first inning, great defense by Mondi and, and, and Nicky up the middle to turn that double play. And then Franco, a couple nice plays as well. Um, but overall, I thought fastball command was okay. Um, curveball was much better today, much improved. I'm um, able to land that a lot more often. Um, I thought the changeup, at times I was baiting a little bit, just missing arm side a little too much. Um, we emphasize, obviously, not missing the middle of the plate um, with it and trying to miss down or down and away. Um, but maybe a little too much on my part, um, maybe on the, on the nibbling side of things. But um, overall, I mean, at the end, I mean, it was 2 nothing when I came out. So Zuber did a great job there picking me up. And Strand and Garber, I think it was. Um, but but overall, just a couple of things I'll take away, good and bad, and, and move on to the next. As you go forward, it's one of the one of the points of emphasis from Cal to. I know it's easier said than done to to try to get you know more aggressive early in the counts. Yes, um, of course. I'm always trying to get ahead. I know that's kind of been a struggle the last few times out. Um, and not getting ahead of count will, will lead to, to higher pitch counts because I'm going deeper into counts, going 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two to every guy, a couple foul balls here and there. So the pitch count will, will add up. Um, but, of course, I mean, that's something – I mean, that's just a, a fundamental pitch and you're, you're trying to pitch ahead and pitch ahead in the count as often as you can. And that's something that will continue to, to emphasize going forward um, to, make, to make my life a little easier out there. And the, the pitch to Nelson Cruz was middle end. What, were you trying to elevate there and make him chase up high? Yeah, we were trying to elevate um, almost with every fastball tonight to him. And then, yeah, I missed um, in the opposite direction. You would want to miss when you're when you're trying to elevate. If you're going to miss trying to elevate, you want to miss. Obviously, there's a ball up as opposed to missing down, which would be middle of the zone, which was the pitch he hit pretty hard. So learn and don't do it again. Thanks, Chris. Chris, uh, um, the the home run out of it. Uh, when you talk about the fastball command was okay, is that you feel like the fastball command was part of the falling behind early in the count, or was that just um, nibbling? Do you think? Maybe a little bit of both. I'd side though with more of the nibbling aspect to it, um, because I've been I've been involved in a lot of low scoring games, so I don't want to just dump one over. Um, first pitch, especially to a good lineup like this where they can do damage one through nine. Um, but at the same time, it's it's important to stay aggressive and, and not nibble um, because when I do, then the pitch count will, will get up there pretty fast. Um, but like I said, that's just something I'm going to have to emphasize a lot with myself going forward. Um, if I can even steal a couple strikes with that curveball tonight, that's something if I can continue to do that going forward, that'll make um, me not have to be so perfect with my fastball and change up all the time. So, Chris, I know you said it, and Brady did. Brady said yesterday just how much this this whole thing thus far has been learning for him. I mean, how much do you learn about yourself in an outing like this where you're facing a lineup like that? A lot. Um, he's exactly. He's. I mean, he's spot on with that. Every every outing has been a learning experience. Um, had some really good innings against some really good hitters and really good sequences so far. And then on the, on the other side of that, some, some spots where I could have made a better pitch or, or I got hurt because I made a mistake in the middle of the zone. Um, but I mean, that's, that's, I guess that's expected and, and going through kind of the gauntlet of, uh, of these, some of these lineups, um, you kind of learn what you can do to hitters and what you can't do. Um, you, obviously you see how your stuff plays, um, against hitters ahead in the count, behind in the count, and whatnot. So exactly, exactly right with that. I mean, every outing's been a learning experience so far, and um, I mean, that's all I can ask. Um, well, like four starts under my belt now, so um, a good enough sample to go off of that I have a good, a good bunch of information that I can take and run with.